years ago. Sheridan, don't stay here. Get out of here. This will be the worst night of your life. No, don't pick it up. Don't. Oh, no. They're coming. Sheridan, get out of here. Drop the letter opener. Get out of here before they see you! Call Pilar! Sheridan, run! Get out, Sheridan. Go back to your room. If you don't, your whole life will be tortured. Get out, Sheridan! Get out now! No time. I've got to get to your house. I have to ask your dad about the fire at Charity. I'm sure the fire's out by now. Charity and your mom are probably just fine. No, I had a nightmare. All right, Charity was in trouble. She was calling my name. It was just a dream, Miguel. You're just trying to make me feel better. It was more than a dream. Charity and I have a strong connection. I have to hurry. Miguel! Leave him alone, Kay. I had to knock your head off. How could you bring Luis and Hank into Miguel's bedroom when you knew I was there to seduce Miguel? <sighs> Charity. Never mind, Charity. She's just a girl who doesn't know anything about love. But I do, Miguel. Let me show you what real love is about. Hey. Miguel, you want to play some fun and cool? What's going on? I just hope Luis and Hank didn't see that I'm wearing my sexy lingerie under this coat. I don't think they did. What were you thinking, Simone? How could you wreck everything for me? Listen, you're lucky I did come over, or your father would have called, and they would have found you in Miguel's bedroom without me there to help you. Okay. But this is not keeping me from getting Miguel to make love to me tonight. Let's go. Come on, Faith. Come on, get back online with me. The screen's still dark. Yeah, with all the smoke at Face House, the wires could have burned. Dear God, please don't let my sister die. Chief Bennett. Yeah, this is the Castleton Fire Chief. Look, we can't find that fire you called about. Well, where are you? We're in the woods, about five miles out of town, but there's no sign of a fire. Let me, like, let me take a look at my map here. Are there any other wooded areas near Castleton? No, not this close to town, and there are a lot of unmarked roads out here. Well, I wish I had an address to give you. Sam, 
Doesn't Miguel know where Charity lives? That's right. He drove her home. Chief, listen, I'm gonna get back to you with some directions, all right? Just give me your car phone number. Got it. I'm gonna call Miguel, see if he knows face address. The little girl told me something terrible was gonna happen tonight, and this is what she meant. She said I would have to be strong and brave. The fire department is gonna find Faith's house, Grace. That's gonna take too long. The only way I can save Faith is with my ESP. Faith, please hear me. Don't leave me alone again. Save yourself. Save Charity. Have mercy on all our souls. A light. There's a light when I've seen nothing but darkness for years. Dear Lord, I can see. It's true. Grace did see you come to life. I can see you as well. We need your help. There are souls in grave danger tonight. You must save them. Save them from evil. What do you see, Tabitha? Nothing. I can't see what's happening at Faith's house. Oh, I'm afraid I've used up my powers for tonight, Timmy. Tell the fair a rough night. Maybe she should lie down. No! If Faith and Charity survive, my life is over. And so? Yes! And yours, too. They have powers of goodness that have to be extinguished. And I have to make sure that Faith and Charity never see the light of another day. And charity are toast. <laughs>
sing songs sweet And I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew could take me high as breathe in, breathe out You keep me alive You are the fire burning inside of me You are my passion for life well, I tried to reach the boy who knows the house, Chief, but apparently he's on his way over here. Now, like I said, there are a lot of unmarked roads out here. Chief Bennett, what's happening? Did Charity and her mom get out of the house? Thank God you're here. Listen, this is the fire chief on the phone. Tell him how to get to Charity's house. I'll try. It's the Standish house. It's on an unmarked road off Low Road. I'm losing her, Eve. My SP is weakening. It was so strong before, and now I can't feel her at all. Well, maybe it's because your sister's out of danger. Oh, she is in terrible danger. She's dying. Mom, what is it? What's wrong? Oh, it's Faith and Charity. They're all right, aren't they? I'm so afraid we're going to lose your aunt and your cousin before we get to know them. Mom, haven't they put out the fire at Charity's house? They can't find the house, Simone. And by the time the firemen get there, it may be too late. Oh. Oh no, how horrible. Where are you and Kay coming from? What's going on? Uh, nothing. Um, everything's fine, Mom. The fire chief said he'd call back as soon as they get to the house, but it may take a while. I hope they get there in time. So do I. How'd you guys know about the fire anyway? Oh, we saw her on the computer hookup. She was begging me to save her daughter. I have to go there. I have to save them. Miguel. I understand how you feel, but you really need to stay here in case the fire chief can't find the house. You're the only one who's ever been there. I'm sure Charity and her mom are out by now anyways. I hope you're right. I know they're still in there. I know it. Uh, don't give up hope. Thanks for coming to my house and telling me about the fire. You're such a good friend. Oh, so that's where you were. I thought Miguel would want to know. I wonder if he'd still think you were such a good friend if he knew why you were really in his room. I killed when I was a little girl. This is the dream that I keep having over and over. I have to see who the person is. I've never seen the face. I have to see who it is. What have you done, Sheridan? Answer me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who is it? Who did I kill? You will help save the souls in jeopardy, won't you? Not sure I can. I can't interfere. I would save them myself if I could, but I don't know how. Please, I'm begging you to do something. My eyes. I've lost my sight again. Little girl, where are you? I thank you for the miracle of seeing again, even if only for a few moments. But there are others who are truly in need of a miracle tonight. yourself. Wake up, Charity. Wake up and get out of the house. 
Where's Miguel? I want to see Miguel. He'll save me. He'll save me. He'll save me. Wake up, Charity. Miguel. Miguel will save me. Wake up and get out of the house. Why do you see, Chelva? Death and destruction. This dream, I've never been able to see who the person is. I have to find out who it is. Who did I kill? I didn't mean to do it. Yes, you did. You did. No, 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 I didn't mean to do it. I can't keep having this nightmare over and over. I can't just stand by and watch what I did that night and not be able to do anything about it. I have to find out who it is. Who did I kill? Come on, Sherry, you have to be able to walk. Dear God, please let me be able to go over there and look under the sheet to see who it is. If I don't, I'll never be free. I can't just stand around and do nothing. I mean, what if Chief Burton hasn't found the house yet? Charity's still in trouble. So is Faith. I'm going to Charity's house. I have to help her. I'll go with you. We'll call the fire chief from the car and see where he is. I'm gonna go too. Oh, sweetheart, you better stay here. I mean, I'll call you the minute I hear something. Sam, I have to go. I have to see my sister one last time. Don't say that. We're going to save her. We'll save them both. I'm coming too. Simone, will you stay here for me, please? Uh, sure, Mom. And Kay, will you watch Jessica? Absolutely. Okay, will you call Louise for me? Tell him what's going on? Of course, Miguel. I hope everything's all right. So do I. I don't know what I'll do if anything happens to Charity. I hope they get there in time. Oh, please. Charity and her mom probably got out of the house and they're perfectly fine. Of course, now Charity's going to use this as an excuse to play the martyr so that Miguel will feel sorry for her. Well, the good news is you didn't get a chance to make a fool of yourself earlier. I still can't believe you were actually in Miguel's room trying to seduce him. Well, I didn't. And he thinks I was there to tell him about his precious charity. <sighs> now the night will be over soon, and I'll never have a chance to be alone with Miguel. Charity's going to be fine, and I'll lose Miguel forever. Wake up, Charity. Wake up and get out of the house. Hmm. Timmy wants to see what's happening inside the house. All righty. Boy, oh boy. When you decide to make something happen, it happens. It took all my strength to destroy Faith and Charity, but it was worth it. Nothing can save them now. I can't believe this. It is so unfair. I had my whole night planned with Miguel, only to have it ruined by Charity. Charity's house is in flames, and all you can think about is how your night was ruined? You don't understand how much I love Miguel, Simone. You've never been in love. I'd never make a fool of myself over someone the way you do over Miguel. <laughs> we'll see. Well, I certainly never deliberately hurt people to get a guy. Who have I hurt? Charity, your cousin, could die. Her mother, your aunt, could die. But you don't even care. Of course I care. 
Of course I don't want anybody to die. I just think everybody's overreacting here. I'm sure the firemen have gotten to their house and Charity and her mom probably got out perfectly on time. Still, it's pretty harsh to have your house burned down. So their house burns down. They're moving to Harmony tomorrow anyway. You know, I bet Charity just burned a pot in the kitchen. Now everybody thinks they're gonna die. That's probably some stunt to win McGill. Like you haven't done that. Going over his house tonight, wearing your sexy lingerie, under your coat, hoping to seduce him. What if Louisa caught you? Well, I didn't get caught. Well, I hope you learned your lesson. <laughs> yeah, next time I'll lock the door. Kay, why can't you just accept that Miguel wants charity, not you? Why don't you face reality? I won't accept it because it's not true. Every time I get this close to having Miguel, Charity pulls something like this fire tonight. If there even is one, like I said, it could all be a stunt. Who's there? You know who we are, priest. Yes. I have fought you all my life, and I will continue to fight you. And it is a fight you cannot win. I have. I will. Not this time. There's something I can do, something I must do. Finishing up a call in maybe 20 minutes. We can't wait that long. I'm going in. Wait a minute. Are you crazy? You won't even get past the first room. That is the most strangely intense fire I've ever seen. No! What's wrong, Teresa? Where did all those people come from? That Sam and Grace and that bothersome boy, Miguel. Are they going to save faith and charity? I can help it. Tell the wait, you can't go out. You're too exhausted. I have to make sure that faith and charity never leave that house alive. Jimmy doesn't like this. Jimmy's afraid. But what does he have to live for without Tabitha? Princess, wait for Jimmy! I have to save this for another night with Miguel. What's the matter with you, Kay? I don't understand you anymore. What do you mean? I think you'd do anything to get Miguel. You even said you'd sell your soul to the devil. That was a joke. God, back off a little, will you? This has been a really horrible night. Tomorrow's not going to be any better. Well, I know you're disappointed about not being with Miguel, but your aunt and your cousin might die tonight. No, they won't. You're being as melodramatic as Charity. Hello. Reese, what do you want? Oh. Okay. What did Reese say? 
He said that we should turn on the TV because there's a house burning down. Charity's house? Well, it must be because he said that he saw my folks and your mom and Miguel watching the fire. We just spoke with Fire Chief Burden of the Castleton Fire Department. He's been trying to get more firefighters on the scene here, but as you can see, it might be too late. This fire is raging out of control. There's got to be something we can do. I mean, what about calling neighboring towns? There has to be firefighters in the area. I've got calls out everywhere. All we have to do is wait. There are women inside. They could be burning alive. Well, I hope they got out already. Then where are they? Miguel's right. They're still in here. I'm going in. I'm going with... Hold it! Nobody goes in there until we get some units out here. Charity! 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 Miguel! Miguel! Did you hear that? What? I heard someone's voice. I didn't hear anything. Neither did I. With Charity. She was calling my name. What you heard is the fire, son. It's the sound of wood burning. that this young man is the boyfriend of the girl believed to be trapped inside the burning house. He's not Charity's boyfriend. As you can Get see, over it, Kay. <laughs> Look at Miguel. Can't you see how destroyed he'll be if, if Charity Maybe dies in that fire? fire You've got to admit, that is a very bad fire. I thought Charity was making it up. I never thought that she and her mom were really trapped in that house. God, I feel terrible for them. <sighs> well, finally thinking about someone besides yourself? I'm not a monster. Oh, poor mom. Poor Miguel. I can't believe there's nothing we can do, Mrs. Bennett. There's nothing. We need a miracle. Where are the fire trucks? The unit should be on the way. I'm gonna get my medical back. Okay. Sam, my sister's in there with her daughter, and they are going to die. Please, God, send a miracle to save them. Get the grieving family. I'm on it. Mom, I'm so sorry. I never wanted to get Miguel this way. I'm so sorry.
can't see who it is. Who are they putting in there? I have to see. Sorry, Timmy, my boy. I can handle the priest. He's blind as a bat anyway, so you don't have to hide. Good evening, Father. Why did you stop my car? Is something wrong? I don't know who you are, but I know there is evil in this car. And I'm here to stop the evil now. still inside the house? Yes, and I have to do something to get her out. Miguel, no! Don't go in there! It's too dangerous! You hear that, Kay? Miguel was willing to die for charity. He'd never die for you. Shut up. You're disgusting. How soon are you moving into the sewing room? Because I can't stand to be in the same room as you for another minute. Don't worry, I'm moving in tonight. Good. I'm going downstairs to wait for Mom and Dad to get back with our aunt and our cousin, I hope. My mother will never get over it if her sister dies. I know. But, on the other hand... But on the other hand, what? I never wanted my aunt and Charity to die, but I guess this means Miguel is mine. Ah. Oh. The chief put out some calls to fire departments in surrounding towns, so they should be here in a minute. It'll be too late, Sam. Grace, let me give you a sedative. Oh, Eve. You... 20 years ago, I almost died in a fire, and now I'm gonna watch my sister die in one. Nothing you give me can take away that pain. 